speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. His faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Hurry, big fellow. I am Silver. Away. A high and rain-soaked wind that had its beginning somewhere in the Gulf of California swept through the border town of Colby in Arizona Territory. Its force almost tore the swinging wooden sign from a low, rambling building made of adobe and tile. In all the years that border jumpers, thieves, cutthroats, and outlaws had made this place their headquarters, it's doubtful if anyone had ever stopped to read that sign. It was cracked, dim, and faded by many days and nights as stormy and evil as this one. Yet, in the blinding glare of a lightning flash, two words stood out in bold relief. Rattlesnake Inn. Hey, barkeep, come here. What do you want? Where's that crooked Irish sidewinder that owns this place? You talking about Dennis Flood, the boss? Who else? Didn't I go across the border and round up a cabbie of Mexican ponies for Flood? Wasn't I hijacked out of the whole bunch just this side of the river? And didn't that Irish scum say it's my fault and refuse to pay me? So what? So this. That same cabbie of ponies is in Flood's corral right now. The dirty, sneaking sidewinder stole what I was stealing for him. I'm gonna Wait get him... Wait a minute. Him if... I'll be right back. Pedro. Si, sí, amigo. Who's in the office with the boss? Oh, Senor Morgan, the doctor. Tall Amri who came from Yuma today. The tall. Oh, yeah, I know. That's Titus Barnes, the lawyer. See. Si. I wonder what the boss is doing with his sawbones and the lawyer. Quien sabe? I got some trouble up at the bar. Need your help. Quien is? That big gent up at the end. You spot him? Ah, See. Si. I'll go back and talk to him. You work up behind. The knife? No. Just use a bottle. That'll be good enough. You savvy? See, si, amigo. I just went in to see the boss. Maybe if you stick around a while, you can talk to him. Listen, I'm going to talk to that flood critter right now, or I'll tear All the right, place right, apart. <laughs> This hombre have one tough head. From outside, Pedro. See. It's all right. Nothing to get excited about. Quiet up there. Mark and thunderation go on out here. Pedro, come here. See, si, senor. Can't a man talk business in his own office? 
without a pack of lobos yelling their heads off out here? Maharito Vuelvo, senor. Pedro, your last name is O'Shaughnessy. When you talk that gibberish, you're a disgrace to the name. I swear by the lakes of Atron it was nothing. I just opened the door to throw out an empty bottle. <laughs> well, keep the bottles inside. Si, senor Flood. Yeah, what's the trouble, Dennis? I don't know, Doc. I don't know half of what goes on in that place. It's a good thing for your conscience you don't. Let us sneak in. Oh, the crimes these walls have Titus seen. Barnes, I don't want any of your legal advice. You came here to draw up my will. Is it finished? Everything's proper and legal, Flood, but I... Then get out of here. Leave me alone. I want to talk to Doc Morgan. In private. Yes, uh, sure. Very well. Uh, you're too hurt, Mr. Barnes, Dennis. Yeah, lawyers. Never had a bit of use for them. Can't be trusted. You're a queer one, Dennis. You own Rattlesnake Inn, the worst cafe in the whole border. You deal with thieves, outlaws, and murderers. And yet you say lawyers can't be trusted. I'd rather trust a sawbones or a, an undertaker. Meaning me? That's what I wanted to talk about. You see, I've got a bad heart. And when I cash in my chips, you'll be the one to plant me. Well, if you'd rather have somebody else do the no, job, no, I'd be... No, 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 You being a town doctor and undertaker is a good idea. Especially for me. What do you mean? First, I want you to ride the stage to Yuma tomorrow and mail a letter for me. Letter? It's to my nephew, Jimmy Flood, up in Denver. Jimmy Flood? Oh, isn't that the boy you mentioned in the will that lawyer Barnes drew up? Son of my brother, Joe. His pa never amounted to much. But young Jimmy ought to be a right smart kid. I, I want him to come down here. To Rattlesnake Inn? Why? He might as well see what he's going to inherit when this ticker of mine gives up. And just in case anything should happen before he gets here, I've asked him to bring plenty of ways to identify himself. Yeah, I'll be glad to meet your nephew, Dennis. Is that all you wanted to tell me? Oh, no, there's another thing that's important. Mighty important. You know Panamint Pete, that old prospector I've been grubstaking for the past ten years? Why, sure. Who doesn't know Panamint? He's been up in the San Bernardino Hills for the past month. Come back to town last night. Well? He tells me... Wait, wait a minute. Well, what's the matter? Put on your hat and coat, Doc. Let's go out to the corral. Maybe it's them Mexican ponies I hear kicking up a fuss. Uh, anything to humor a patient? <laughs> corral full of wild horses is dangerous. I know. But I want to see what's wrong. Come on. <laughs> Three weeks later, the tall young man waited in a cafe near the stage depot in Yuma. The fact that he was a stranger was obvious in his greetings to a dark-complexioned man who approached him. They were both about the same size and age. Stranger in town? Yes, I am. I'm waiting for the stage to Colby. Well, that's so. Quite a coincidence. Happen to be going to Colby, too. Let me introduce myself. Name's Ace Klein. Glad to know you, Mr. Klein. I'm Jimmy Flood. Say, you want any chance related to Dennis Flood over in Colby? He's my uncle. I'm going to visit him. Oh, good, good. Say, we got a few minutes before the stage leaves. How about a drink? Thanks, but I oh, don't... Oh, come on. I know your uncle. We're practically old friends. Well, all right. <laughs> uh, barkeep, one of my uh, specials from a new friend. Got him right here, Ace. Ford and waiting for you. <laughs> good. <laughs> Jimmy, his luck. Yeah, same to you. <sighs> uh, by the way, Jimmy, where are you from? Denver. Denver, huh? Oh, that's a great town. I remember the last time I was in... Oh, what's wrong? I feel kind of dizzy. I think I'd better... Gunner. Yeah, Ace. It was easier than I expected. Carry him upstairs. Yeah, sure. 
The Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Dan Reed reined up their horses sharply on a sandy trail not far from Yuma. Full silver. Oh, look out, oh, fellas. Oh, oh, oh. All right, double with Tonto, Dan. Leave Victor here with me. Sure. Go on into Yuma and ride the stage from there to Colby. Why can't all three of us ride to Colby from here? Because Dr. Morgan's message said to reach him as secretly as possible. I'm sure he wouldn't have advised caution unless it was needed. No one will be suspicious of you riding the stage. Oh, golly, I guess not. As soon as you talk to Dr. Morgan, walk to the south side of Colby. Tonto and I'll be camped there. Sure. You wait here, Kimasabi. Yes, Tonto. Leave Dan and Yuma, then you and I'll head south. Ah. Uh-huh. Get him up, scout! Out of the cafe. <laughs> oh, look, Uncle Tad. That poor boy lying there in all that mud and water. Come and drunk isn't deserving of your pity, Sylvia. Come on, we'll be leaving the stage. Wait, Uncle Titus. I'm going to try to help him. Here, grab my hand. All right. I'll help you. Gee, thanks, miss. I... Oh! Cynthia, I all splashed with mud. See the thanks you get for aiding a drunken new girl? I'm sure sorry. Oh, that's all right. Cynthia, I demand you come with me. Oh, yes, Uncle Titus. Goodbye. Goodbye. And thanks, Cynthia. Here's the Colby stage. I guess you and I are the only ones waiting for it. Yeah. Golly, you sure had a tough break here in Yuma. Do you know who that man was who gave you that drink and robbed you? I never saw him before. I'll sure know the critter if I ever run into him again. How much did he steal? Everything I had. My money belt, my identification papers. Only thing I can't figure out is why he put these few gold pieces back into my pocket. <laughs> At least you've got enough so you can get to Colby and see your uncle. Yeah. Come on, let's climb on that stage. Amigos, going to Colby? I'm pulling right out. Sure. See, how about my friend and I riding up on a box with you, driver? Yes, to bueno. I guess that means all right. Faith, and I'd be happy to have you sitting beside me. What? I thought you just answered him in Spanish. Amigos, you will ride with the greatest driver who ever tooled the stage to Yuma. Pedro Gonzalez, Panchito, Maria O'Shaughnessy. <laughs> Golly, Pedro O'Shaughnessy. Oh, I've been robbed of everything I own in Yuma. Now I'm leaving town with a Spanish stage driver who speaks with an Irish brogue. I guess nothing else can happen. Come on, Dan. Sure. Are we the only two passengers, Pedro? No, senor. Two others are inside. An old man and a beautiful senorita. Come on, driver. What are we waiting for? You see? Yes. I think I know who the young lady is. I'm glad the old man can't see me. Hold tightly to the seat, senors. Andale! Let your leg, you spawn of Satan! Pay to find the hills of Kalani and make you move! This is the wildest ride I've ever been on. Golly, me too. I'll sure be glad to get to Colby and see Uncle Dennis. What? What's this you say? I just said I'd be glad when we reach Colby so I can see my Uncle Dennis. I'm his nephew, Jimmy Flood. No, it cannot be. Jimmy Flood, the nephew of Dennis, arrived in Colby last night. What? Hey, maybe it's that fellow who stole your identification papers. He might be pretending to be you. That wouldn't do him any good. Uncle Dennis would know the difference. Then you do not know? Know what? Your Uncle Dennis has been dead for three weeks. Killed in an accident. My laws has trampled him. My uncle? Dead? I myself was at the funeral. Oh, gee. Oh, oh, you miserable... Oh, there. Oh. Driver, what are you stopping here for? There is a big log across the road. I will have to get off and move it. Cassius! Uncle Titus! What's the meaning of this? All I know, mister, is that those are rifle bullets. And they're shooting at us. curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. Trapped on the driver's seat of the stagecoach and excellent targets for the bullets of unseen snipers, 
Dan Reed, Jimmy Flood, and Pedro tumbled quickly to the ground. Golly, we'd better get... No, my host. It's good I carried the Winchester. Here. Let me use that six-shooter you're carrying. Bueno. Here. Oh, what will we do? inside, both of you. Better stay close to the floor. Yes, Cynthia, don't try to get up. Why did I ever come on this? Wait. I haven't seen enemies no longer shoot at us. Yeah, that's right. There they go, see? Fighting over the ridge. Two men on saddle horses. But why were they shooting at us? I don't know, Cynthia. Maybe it was me they were aiming at. Or me. Dr. Morgan? Yes, that's right. My name's Dan Reed. Sorry I'm so late getting here, but I... Oh, yes, Dan. I've been expecting you. Come on in. Hey, wait, I'll turn up the lamp. What delayed you? I came from Yuma. Stagecoach was ambushed about halfway between here and there. Ambushed? Who did it? Was anyone hurt? No one hurt. An old fellow and a young girl were almost scared to death, that's all. There's a boy riding up on the boot with a driver and me. His name's Jimmy Flood. I Flood? Me... Yeah, that must be the real nephew from Denver. I was afraid of this. I told Dennis that... But you bring me news of the Lone Ranger. Where is he? It's important that I see him at once. He and Tano are camped at the edge of town. Oh, good. We'll hitch up my buggy and drive out there. He thought it was best that I come in on the stage and see you first. Yeah, it was a wise move, Dan. I'm being watched here. Every minute of every day and night. I guess you sending for the Lone Ranger didn't have anything to do with what happened to the stage this afternoon. Well, not when I sent for him, but... Well, now I'm almost sure that... Come here, Dan. Over by the window. I want to show you something. Now, raise the shade so you can see what I'm talking about. Yeah. You see that low building right across the street? Yes, sir. Well, let's rattlesnake in. It's a hangout for every renegade and outlaw along the whole border. Golly. For the past few years, it's been owned by a man named Dennis Flood. Oh, Jimmy's uncle. And I'm just a country doctor. Ordinarily, I make it my business to keep my nose out of things that don't concern me. But Dennis Flood became a patient of mine, and I accidentally discovered that he wasn't what he appeared to be. Uh what do you mean? That he wasn't a crook, a thieves banker, and a receiver of stolen goods. I can't. Hey, golly. I better put out that light before I get. Oh, I just ducked that one in time. Now, if I get that lamp and blow it out. There. Hey, doctor. Dr. Morgan. He's dead. But, Uncle Titus, if Jimmy says he was robbed in Yuma and that someone stole all of his identification papers, well, then, then I believe him. Be quiet, Cynthia. This is a legal matter, none of your affair. This boy's story is ridiculous. That means you don't believe me. Of course I don't. Dennis Flood is dead. I drew up his will in which he left everything he owned, including Rattlesnake Inn, to his nephew, James Flood. I'm glad to know you're going to wait here, Mr. Barnes, because I'll be waiting right with you. There's nothing I'd rather do than lay eyes on the hombre who says he's me. that if Dr. Morgan hadn't been shot at that minute, he'd have told me why he sent for you and what all this has to do with the rattlesnake inn. Yes, it's a shame he didn't tell you. It would make our job easier. Yeah, the whole thing's so mixed up. Do you think Jimmy Flood or the death of his uncle has anything to do with it? Yes, Dan, I do. And just how? I don't know. Yeah. If someone's pretending to be him, why did they leave gold in his pockets when he was robbed? And then they tried killing him when we were riding on the stage. Hmm. Whoever ambushed the stage might not have been shooting at Flood. Uh, you, you mean they were aiming at me? There were other people in the coach, weren't there? Just Pedro the driver, that old lawyer and his niece. Mm -hmm. Tato. Uh -huh. We're riding to Colby. I want you to go to this place they call Rattlesnake Inn and talk to Pedro. Uh -huh. Call the horses, Dan. Sure. Here, Silver. Scout. Hey, Victor. Oh, wait, Tonto. You better take along this small shovel you carry in your saddle roll. Let uh -huh. me get it. A shovel? What's that for? May come in handy. Ready, Toto? Uh, be ready. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scott. You, Pedro? See? Si. You friend the man who owned Rattlesnake Inn? Him named Flood. Sure, and wouldn't Pedro Gonzalez, Panchito, Mario O'Shaughnessy be a friend of Flood? Oh. Me not savvy. Uh, See, si, I was Senor Flood's amigo. Oh, well, then you help. Come. Uh, the Spanish, the Irish, and the Indians. Lead the way, amigo. I follow. Mm. 
me bring Pedro. Good. El Comparcito, a masked man. This is a trap. No, I said... Pedro, it's no trap, and I'm not an outlaw. But I do need your help to solve a mystery. Mystery? Why your stage was ambushed today. Why Dr. Morgan was murdered less than an hour ago. Why an imposter claims to be Dennis Flood's nephew. Dr. Morgan? Murdered? Yes, will you help? See. Si. Good. Tano, you know what to do. Pedro will show you where to go. Uh, me no. Dan, you and I will cover all the roads leading into Colby. We'll meet Tano back here. Come on, Silver. Get up, Victor. Lawyer Barnes? That is correct. Uh, Mr. James Flood just got back. He's waiting to see you in the office. I'll get right in. Say, haven't I met you somewhere before? Well, not that I know of. You uh, going in to see him, Lawyer Barnes? Uh, of course. So am I. Why don't you come too, Cynthia? I will. No, this is a private matter. It's as much mine as it is yours. For the boss, sir, I mean Mr. Flood. I'd like all of you to come into his office. That's good enough for me. Uh, the door right behind the bar. Go on in. I'll be along in a minute. Yes, yes. Light in here uh, must be a mistake. No. Yeah, I thought. To... Oh, wait! Oh, what are you Take doing? Take it easy, Sips. The boss oh. has got his eye on you. Oh. You won't get hurt as long as you keep your mouth shut now. Ann and I are right over here, Tonto. Uh, we go. Do like you say. See. Si. Even when I saw it, I could not believe. Did you open the grave where Dennis Flood was supposed to be buried? See, si. and instead of saying your Flood, we find in the coffin nothing but rocks. I thought that was the way it'd be. Rocks? You mean Jimmy's uncle isn't really dead? I'm sure of it, Dan. That's one of the things Dr. Morgan was trying to tell you before he was killed. Then if he isn't dead, he can prove that Jimmy is really his nephew. Oh, wait. Who is this? Do you know, Pedro? It is... It is the Senor Flood coming back to... No, don't make any noise. Stay back here out of sight. So far, everything is going the way some crook wants it to go. The only way we'll catch him is to let him play all his cards. Quiet, all of you. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I guess there's no other way out. Might as well go in the back door and wait for us. I don't know who you are, hombre, but I do know you're not my nephew. You haven't seen me for a number of years, Uncle Dennis. Don't call to... me your uncle. You're a dirty, sidewinding crook, and you know it. All right, boys, draw your guns. Keep the old goat covered. All right. Yeah, we'll both play our cards face up. My nephew come in on the Yuma stage, either yesterday or today. Where is he? He's safe enough, right in the next room. With your lawyer, Titus Barnes, and his niece. Mm. What do you want? You thought you were pretty clever, didn't you, Flood? Night Panam and Pete reported that he'd struck gold on a claim out in the hills. But you thought you'd keep it all to yourself, so you faked your own death and funeral. Still think it was a good idea. So did Doc Morgan. Uh, incidentally, Dr. Morgan's already paid for trying to talk to some kid he brought in here. What? You mean Doc is... Are you murdering... Better Polk? be quiet. The boy's fingers get awful nervous on those triggers. I've known for a long time, Flood, that you were running this place as a blind. Special investigator for the army, huh? Trying to locate stolen horses. All right. What's your proposition? By the time one of the boys told me about it, well, it was too late to trail you the night you and the doctor framed your own funeral. Where is the gold mine, Flood? I can't remember. Put a map of that mine in my hand and you and everybody else stays alive. And if you don't... I'll give you only a minute to make up your mind. Well, you'll get the same thing I gave the dog. That's all I wanted to hear. What, what, what Cut him, you? boys! Cut him! You're not badly hurt either oh, of you. Stop yelling. Oh, you reach. My next bullet will be more accurate. No, I... Uncle Dennis. Wait, Jimmy and Titus Barnes. Well, what are you doing here? Well, from all we've just overheard, I'm here to apologize to your nephew. It's my mistake, son. I'm sorry. That's all right, Mr. Barnes. Jimmy, are you all right? I've never felt better. Well, who's that masked critter that's so handy with them shooting irons? Jimmy, you have a gun. Now you can turn these men over to the sheriff, can't you? Report Dr. Morgan's murder? Sure, I can. Good. Come on, Dan. Hello. Jumping gee, hoss of hat. Things have been happening too fast around here for an old codger like me. Uh, Pedro, where have you been all this time? Looking for you, Senor Flood. In a graveyard. Ah. Uh, I'm not there yet. Jimmy, that will that Titus drew up still stands. 
half of a gold mine and all of the rattlesnake in. If this place belongs to me, I'm going to burn it down. Good idea. But I'll take enough of the gold mine to buy a ranch down here in Arizona. If I can get a girl named Cynthia to marry me. Oh, Jimmy. <laughs> well, you can't tell. <laughs> Say, nobody's told me yet. The fellow that seemed to corral this whole thing was the gent with the mask. Uncle Dennis, that was the Lone Ranger. What? You, you mean I was really sitting here talking to the Lone Ranger? That's right. Is he telling me the truth, Pedro? Sure, and it's the truth. I swear it by the green hills of Kalani. But, what did you say? Si, senor. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.